Yeah, you can bring them out if you don't mind being on the. Chewie. 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 What? <laughs> he's so happy to see you. Aww. He always acts like he's going to be beaten every time. That's from his previous life before he was. Yeah, Chewie. Now, how long have you guys had him? About a year and a half. Okay. Well, they said he was about 18 months when we got him, and he's about four now, so yeah. so about two and a half years, I guess. It's been longer than I thought. Hi. Hi, Shuri. Oh, I'm so happy to see you, baby. Oh, don't cry. Don't cry. And my husband's canceled all his plans today so he can stay home off Shuri. He needs you guys, that's for sure. Yeah, yeah. I'm supposed to be out shooting today. Yeah, with a bunch of guys from church. But... Oh, oh yes. you're so happy. You're so happy. You're even cuter than I remember. <laughs> okay, guys, I am going to vlog today, I guess, even though there's nothing going on. Pete's down there with Chewy. First thing he had to do was take him around the park, show him his park is still there. She has no idea that Chewy's back. She doesn't care anyway. I'm propped up here in front of it, sitting on the bed all week, and I want to see some action today. It's Saturday. There should be something to watch up front. This will be the first. This is the first time I've been up here all week. Um. Uh, not Lyra. Uh, her over there. She keeps jumping up and looking out the window and leaning on the horn. So, a, I asked Pete to turn the steering wheel, but B. There's his laundry and it's keeping her off the seat. So that works too. <laughs> Here they come. He's carrying Chewy. That's good. Chewy's been through a lot this week. As you saw, Chewy was really glad to see Pete. I don't know how good the video was. I wasn't really paying attention, but I'll edit accordingly. And if it's not too awfully bad, I will, uh, you know, keep it in. So we're pretty full, about half full, I'd say. Not Fully full, but somebody's coming across the street today, and here come Chewy. Widow Chewy, his face and his neck and his ears and his head are all sticky from them giving him the medicine. His antibiotic, and he's been on Benadryl too, and pain pill, pain medicine. So, anyway, whoa, that's a big thing to be looking at me. It's the next door's truck. They're only here every. Okay, oh. Maisie ran through the house and tore up her pads. That was an incident. There were some people that are on one and two down there the, where we spent the last part of the summer. And uh, they have a Brittany Span, not a Brittany, uh, Brittany's aren't Spaniels anymore anyway, um, but a uh, English Springer Spaniel, liver and white. And they walked, you know, back and forth quite a bit, and Maisie's barked at the dog, but the dog totally ignores her, but Chewy and I were going around. I decided to go, usually we go to the back first, I decided to go around the front first, and the dog wasn't on a leash, which it isn't very often. I guess it's a he, because I think they were yelling at him. And it came out to Maisie. Maisie stood there for a second, and they were nose to nose, and then suddenly Maisie broke loose and she was gonna have no part of it she went after the dog just as the guy got there to grab the dog Maisie just she just went that was it there was no of course that dog wasn't on a leash so she would have hurt the dog I'm pretty sure I would have been because we were out in the middle of the road in fact we were right by Kim's porch so we were a good distance away from the from the, their lot and their, their dog came up to Maisie. So anyway, her harness popped open. And I had to take her home by the collar so I could put the harness back on. But at least I know that the harness is no good in an altercation. Right? Right, Maze? She says, but Mom, that dog came to us. I know that dog came to us, Maisie. Yeah, good girl. So... 
she hasn't done her thing yet. We just started our walk. Like I said, we just got as far as Kim's porch. So I'm going to harness her back up. She just popped that harness right off. I mean, that was it. That was some show of strength. So anyway, she still pulled when I was bringing her home on the, by the um, collar like she used to, because I haven't used just the collar. Um, I said like she used to, I mean she pulled, but she didn't pull nearly as bad as she used to. But still, I'm gonna be using the harness. And she, the harness, the harness and the collar get hooked together. And then, and if that, and then the um, leash goes on, the harness usually. But if they wouldn't have been hooked together, she'd have been gone, that's all there is to it, so. If I had only had her leash on the harness, because the harness just popped loose. Hi, girl. She says, when, when's the rest of my walk, Mom? My girl, here she comes upon Mom. Yeah, she says, Mom, when's the rest of my walk? And why did that dog come up at us? Mom, but we're just nice people, right, Mom? We just nice beam just petting her. She loves having her shoulders. I do with both hands. I rub massage her shoulders and she goes into this trance, her eyelids close and her head starts to hang and she drools on me. <laughs> she yums that right. <laughs> okay, good your good kisses. Oh yes, good kisses. Anyway, that was interesting. See look at those teeth. They're so white and young. All right, I'm going to harness her up, and we're going to try this again. I'll see you later. It is hot and humid out there. It is hot. Um, let's see. It's about a quarter to seven. Pete and Chewy just went up to Walmart. Um, it's not, like, hot and sunny. You can see it's kind of... Whoa! Hi! <laughs> you can see. She just did a really good thing. She did her bring it and drop it. What a good girl. That's the first time she's done them both without me having to, you know, like actually get up and show her what to do. She did a bring it and a drop it, didn't you? Yeah, I dropped um, the little plastic roller that the poop bags come on. I dropped it and I sat down. I didn't realize it was there. She went over and picked it up. I said, bring it. She brought it to me and I put my hand in and she just dropped it. I said, drop it. She's learning. I mean, I haven't even had this dog a month, and look at all the stuff she's doing already. I don't know if I've said it before, but I just usually don't bark a lot of orders at my dogs. You know, they learn certain, obviously, sit, stay, and walk easy, which I use, because uh, I don't do a lot of strict healing. I just walk easy. I just want them to walk nice on a loose leash, stay close by, and they respond to that. And, um, oh, she's such a good girl. Oh, she's... So, um, anyway, I was saying, oh, she wants to play now. She says, I got everything out. I'm empty. I'm ready to play. So, um, what? I don't got nothing. I don't got nothing. Uh, anyway, so that just made me so proud. She did a bring it and a drop it together for the first time without coaching or anything. She's learning. She's so smart. And we had an uneventful walk. I With all the people here, although I've walked her around this campground with all the people here well, four times yesterday and twice today, um, there was no incident. But I just went and walked her over in that open area where the septic is instead. I just don't want to take any chances. Um, I think Pete said that, you know, she was, because she walked up and went between me and the other dog, and he said she was probably, you know, just wanted to keep the other dog away from mom, which is likely the case. So, um, Miss Bring and Drop It is chewing on my hand. She's so gentle and sweet, though. So, P went to Walmart. That's what I started. He took Chewy with him, and um, I was still walking Maisie. No, 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 no. Oh, there she goes. We just lunged her a lot.
hope you guys saw that. If not, it'll be edited out anyway. But I just lunged her a lot down there too, but it was, it's sticky out. It's hot, but the humidity must be about 200%. So she's still going. So I lunged her a lot and then she stopped. She was done, stood there panning. So now she comes back and she says, now I got more energy. Got my second wind now that I'm in the air conditioning. Yeah, until Chewy and Maisie can play together again, 10 more days. She's so rough on him. But he's, Dr. Smith said he's, you know, healed enough so that if, if, like, if he jumps, she jumps, whatever, that likely he'll be okay. That's why they want to, you know, get him to that point. But still got to try and keep him from, keep her from pouncing on him and stuff for 10 more days. Which, you know, usually when the birds are out, Pete takes Maisie in the bedroom with him and they watch TV together for, they watch a movie or something and that's, now with Chewy here, although Chewy could be out here while the birds are out, that would work. Maisie could be with Pete. I could, Chewy would be here because he's okay with them. I will see you guys uh, tomorrow, and uh, don't forget to pray for your pastors. Um, take care. God bless, and good night. <laughs>